Hello children, in this video we will be doing dialogue writing. So children, what is a dialogue writing? A dialogue is a form of communication where one's voice, tone, words and expressive language communicate the person's intention, purpose and thoughts. So children, today a dialogue is a form of personal interaction which includes interview, negotiation, customer service, discussion, telephone conversation, marketing, etc. It is a face-to-face -face interaction except in the case of a telephone where it is voice-to-voice -voice communication. Now children, what are the things that you need to keep in mind while writing or developing a dialogue? The dialogue should begin with an interesting way. Special attention should be given to the opening sentences and conclusion. So children, while writing a dialogue, you need to not just begin directly with the middle points or what is being asked. You need to give a proper start as well as a proper end. That is starting point and the ending point. Be realistic while writing. So children, most of the time what happens is that while writing we become very formal. So, if it is a dialogue between friends, two friends, it should be informal and it should be realistic. Escalate emotions between the characters in the environment through your dialogues. That means, don't write dialogues just for the sake of writing. While writing dialogues, try to bring out the emotions of the characters you are writing about. Use grammatically correct language. So, in all your writing skills, including dialogue writing, you need to use proper grammatical language. Make it interesting, realistic and natural as possible. So, try to make your dialogues very realistic. Don't make it something where people do not talk in their daily lives. A dialogue is something where we have our day-to-day -day conversations with our friends, with our family, with our teachers and everybody else that you interact with. So while writing dialogues, keep your words very realistic and natural. There should be connectivity between the questions and replies. So here, if you are asking a question to your friend in the dialogue, you need to keep a connection. Like suppose a question is asked, how are you? So the next answer will be from your friend that I am good, how are you? So you need to see, to see that there is connectivity in your dialogue conversation. Try to balance the sentences or dialogues between both the characters. So you need to keep in mind that while writing dialogues, both the parts, that is your friend or both the characters should get equal dialogues. It should not be that one person is talking and talking, okay, one person is getting more dialogues and the other person is not getting any dialogues at all. You need to keep a balance between both the characters. Now children, what are the don'ts of dialogue writing? What you need to avoid while writing a dialogue? Do not allow one character to monopolize the conversation. Like if you are a person who talks more. So do not make that mistake in your conversation or dialogue. Both the characters should have equal dialogues. Do not use slang language. 
like you need to use proper english language for example gonna wanna etc should not be used these are all slang languages do not use bad words suppose you're writing a dialogue where you get angry do not use any foul words do not overuse bookish quotes phrases so children as you write your expansion of ideas there you need to write a lot of quotes and phrases so that you may make your writing very interesting but here in dialogue writing these are all our day to day conversations or dialogues that we speak with one another so try to not use too many quotes because in our daily lives when we speak to our friends and family we use normal language avoid dialogues that are too lengthy so always see to it that while writing a dialogue you should not have one dialogue of four to five lines it should be short and creative and interesting do not end abruptly it should have a definite ending for example goodbye it was a pleasure to meet you so do not make the mistake of ending the dialogue without giving a conclusion always see to it that you give a proper conclusion like the example given here do not use sms language so this is not only for dialogue writing but for all your english writing skills do not use sms language that is a short form for example how are you that is only the letter r and u so make sure that you do not use these kind of language now children remember you need to use appropriate words use the words that are you know goes with the flow of what the question is given to you give a logical flow that means if you are writing something and in the next dialogue you jump on to some other conclusion or some other conversation then it won't be very attractive while reading so see to it you have a logical flow of dialogues short sentences as i told you earlier that your dialogues should not be very very lengthy it should be short punctuation you have to use pr proper punctuations wherever exc exclamatory mark is needed you need to add that question mark full stop commas everything should be in proper place maximum 6 exchanges of dialogues that means when you are writing dialogues there should be 6 exchanges that means your friend and you in that way there should be 6 okay so when you are writing the dialogue hi how are you that will not be counted in the marks so the main thing that you talk like suppose you are talking on environment so the main dialogue that you give about environment pollution control something like that you your marks will it be depend on what you are talking on the main topic or the question that is given to you okay so you need to have maximum 6 exchanges of dialogues now children this is a sample of dialogue writing write a dialogue between two friends ravi and raj on environmental pollution so children if in the question the names are given you need to use those same names if the names are not given you can use your own names let's read this dialogue the following is a dialogue between two friends ravi and raj on environmental pollution so children this is the way you need to start your dialogue with the bracket within the bracket you need to write what the dialogue is about okay in a passive voice ravi hi raj how are you what is your topic for the project raj hi ravi i am fine my topic is environmental pol pollution and i am a little disturbed ravi why raj while collecting information 
I have come across several alarming facts which are like threats. Ravi, I know the earth is suffering. Pollution is terrible. Raj, not only the environmental pollution is dangerous for our earth, but dangerous for mankind too. Ravi, what do you think would be the consequences? Raj, I think some more plants and animals are likely to become extinct. Ravi, I feel this extinction will further upset the balance. Raj, absolutely. Besides global warming and its effects are becoming worse day by day. Ravi, yes. Now ice is melting and water level of the sea is rising. Raj, you know that pollution can cause the spread of various diseases too, right? Ravi, yes, we need to spread awareness of these harmful effects. Raj, once the message is spread, we can work together and think of solutions. Ravi, yes, you're right. Together we can. Let's meet tomorrow after school and plan some campaigns. Raj, sure. Bye for now. Ravi, goodbye. With this, they both went back to their house. So children, in this way, you need to write the dialogue writing. You need to give a proper start. Like in the brackets, the following is a dialogue between two friends. Ravi and Raj on environmental pollution. So this is the beginning of your dialogue. After writing this, you will start your actual dialogue. Okay, you will write the names. If it is given in the question, you will write those names. If the names are not mentioned in the question, you will write your own imaginative names. And while ending, you need to give a conclusion in the brackets like with this, they both, both went back to their house. And you need to remember to give proper punctuations. Use of proper grammar is needed. And also, you need to give proper emotions. Because this is dialogue. As you saw in this dialogue as well. Because these both friends, Ravi and Raj, were really concerned about the environmental pollution they were expressing their emotions about the deteriorating condition of our planet Earth. They are feeling very sad and bad about the extinction of animals and plants and different species. So children, keep in mind that while writing the dialogue, you need to not only focus on grammar, on the way or the format, but also the emotions and expressions that you right in the dialogues. So children, with this we have now completed with the explanation. Thank you for listening. Take care.